In this video, we'll show you how to create custom detail sheets for background check information as well as create a report for pulling your background check expirations. To do this, we'll want to create a custom detail sheet for your background checks. We'll navigate over to the People menu and the Detail Sheets. Up in the top left, we'll click the drop down for Detail Sheets and select Define a new type of detail sheet. From this menu, we'll go ahead and call the name of this sheet Background Check information. In the next section here we can manage fields. From here we can actually build out the background check field that will be displayed on all of our contacts. If we select add field, we'll go ahead and add a date field first. We'll call this background check expiration. For the input type we'll go ahead and change this to just be a date type as we don't really need a time for this. We can also add a file reference upload here so we can upload specific documents from a third party source for your background check information. But we'll go ahead and also change this input type to file upload so you can upload outside files to this specific field. Now we can go ahead and save up in the top right hand corner and if we go to one of our contacts we will now find the background check information field is available to view underneath. Perfect. Let's go ahead and add a background check expiration to Bill here in the next week. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and we can create a filter for our contacts to pull background checks that expire within the next month. To do this, we'll go to the contact section and then up to the top right hand corner, we'll go to filters and we're going to add a condition. We're going to look for the background check expiration that we just created. So I'll go ahead and type in background and you'll see these pop up here. We'll select the background check information, background check expiration. We can add a condition here. We'll say is in the next one month. So if we apply filters, it should pull up Mr. Bill. Perfect. To save this filter, go down to the bottom middle, we hit the save button, and now we can choose a name for this saved search. What we'll do here is say contacts with expiring background checks in the next month. And if we go ahead and save that, it'll add it to our save filters, which you can find by selecting the filters option and tabbing over to the saved section here. 